So we're at the cottage today, and we're creating opportunities to make pictures of my new friends. Instantly, the kids wanted to play board games. We weren't setting things up, everyone was just hanging out. It was more an observational thing, and the light coming through the windows was rather lovely. We started taking pictures. There's no right time to take pictures. The more you put the camera to your face, simply the better pictures you're going to make. I like to be engaged and close to my subjects when I shoot. Here we go. Give her an Ninji. Okay. Everyone's got favorite lenses. Particularly, my two favorite lenses are a 50 millimeter lens and a 35 millimeter lens. A 50 millimeter lens is closest to what the human eye is. 35 millimeter 1.4 lens it has a very shallow depth of field, meaning the subject is still in focus, but the background is a little more out of focus. I'm a big fan of this lens, one, because it's a little bit wider than the human eye, and two, it helps isolate subjects and blur the background. So these cameras come with many different modes. I'm a big fan of aperture priority. I was shooting at 2.8, allowing the camera to shoot in low light. I didn't have to worry about what shutter speed accommodated the particular aperture I chose. The camera chose for me. So remember, depth of field is all based on your aperture. The higher the number, the greater the depth of field. The lower the number, the more shallow the depth of field.